from Earth.rex. <laughs> what? Um, Shepard. Making babies again will be fun. Soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. Uh, my plans for the Krogans go forward once we take care of the Reapers. Having Eve around would have helped. She would have been a great leader someday, but could have united the clans. Th that's a shame. But we got a war to fight, and a lot of Krogan and, uh, are itching to get into it. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. Oh, Rex, your attitude is shitty. <laughs> Be nice to the Turians, for fuck's sake. They helped you out a ton. Um, from General Corinthus. Commander Shepard, when you first arrived on Mene, uh, I had a hard time seeing how you... Time seeing how you flying... How you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan... Uh, fighters working together to take down a Reaper Destroyer, I must admit I'm impressed. You've brokered, a, brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Talvin might be saved after all. With great respect, General Corinthus, Mene Command. A uh, message from Shiala, still called Still Fighting. Uh, Dear Commander Shepard, I don't know if you've, see, if you've seen the articles, but the people of Zeus Hope are fighting again. This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. I'm not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Ilium. The Thorian is dead now. I can confirm that. But the spores in her bodies remain, and on some level, we are still connected. And yeah, the Shala is a very familiar name, though I can't really put a name to it, but Zeus Hope definitely sounds... and the whole Thorian thing sure sounds familiar. Um, this is not necessarily a bad thing, as we fight Back the Reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I went willingly to the Thorian as its thrall. But my connection to the peoples of Ze people of Zeus Hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. The situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety, but with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos. Uh, our force is strong. I've s I have not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. Uh, we are leaving Pharaoh soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you. Shala. And then there's a new article uh, called Reaper from the Alliance News Network. Pharaohs. A group of colonists on Pharaohs have mounted a defensive attack. Uh, defensive against uh, arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zeus Hope, said to be survivors of a savage Geth attack several years ago, has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. The colonists are using improvised weapons, as well as supplies salvaged from a defunct Exogeni facility. This colony is our home, uh, colony spokesperson Elizabeth Bainham said. Uh, we've survived worse, and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have time for full evacuation before more Reaper forces arrive. Well, that's pretty good to hear. Yeah, that's good to hear. It's positive news. I like that. Hmm. <laughs> so they're now a war asset. Huh. Neat. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan-Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see her in action. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, I suppose. Alright. So, I think we want to have a quick look around here. Also, yeah, I didn't no mention this before, but here are all the names of people who've died. Which seems to have added a little since I started recording. Yeah, Morton Solus has been added in there as well. Boo. I'm not recognizing some of the names. Uh, in fact, I'm not. Okay, Tanaka, definitely remember. Jenkins, remember. Some of them I'm not, though. Yeah, okay. That, that That's pretty cool that it's in there, let's say. Oh, hi. She's just standing around. Nobody here. 
Well, I, I guess we didn't really pick up anyone new, right? So... Why would there be anything new? But it still closes or opens. No, can't press the button. Hello, Doc. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. So I've talked with Edie. What are you up to now? I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. We'll keep talking to the Turians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Yeah. Definitely. All right. So let's move over to Liara. Well, let's... You know, we, we went by all the other rooms. We might as well stop by Garrus. Um, even though he's not here. I thought this was his place. Or the place where he would be hanging around, mostly. Oh, right, he's been assigned. Yeah, that 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 must be why. I wonder if we can't pick him for anything now. Now then, what makes sense? Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams, to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Upgrades. Nothing. Contact a glyph. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Yeah. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Or you could keep fighting. I'll always try my best, Shepard. You know that. But if we lost you... We finally have other leaders on our side, but... None will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Hmm. Yeah, Liara is always kind of pleasant to talk to. She's just very pleasant to be around. So the broker terminal with a lot of fucking notes. Fuck. <laughs> I guess they've been stacking up a little. Uh, Prothean notes 2186 and entry 3. Yeah, okay. We've had one and two, so it makes sense. If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if it could bring them all back again. Of course he would. Uh, I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I, dedicate my, I dedicated my life to studying? Mass relay traffic reports. Um, basically, well, increase, 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 decrease, decrease. I'm not sure what to make of that. I'm sure that all means something to people, but uh, not to me. Email from Professor Takisha to Dr. Udol. Uh, I was calling every supply depot stationed around the Crucible to find enough pure platinum for the crucible's primary trigger inlay we barely had enough left to coat a coffee maker 
An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. Then it flew away to scavenge more materials for the project. The ship's captain emailed me later saying the broker would have st would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. <laughs> that was awfully nice of uh, Liara to set that up. An alliance interrogation record. Cerberus operative. Interrogator 1. Ugh. Check out these implants. She's got jammed in her face. Interrogator 2. Shh. She's awake. Mm, mumbling. Interrogator 2. Hello. Do you know where you are? Nope. Uh, do you know how much goddamn trouble you're in? Hey, ease up. Listen, you're in trouble. I'm not going to lie, but that doesn't mean we can't work something out. If you help us, we can... Then an explosion happens. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, right. I see where this is going. <laughs> uh, so they're coughing, asking if they're okay. One is okay, but holy hell, she's dead. What? The whole front of her face is gone. Some kind of ocular flashbang? Well, shit. Is everyone in Cerberus rigged up like that? So they fucking commit suicide. Nice. Uh, an email from Dr. Locke to Ad Admiral Hackett. Security almost opened fire on the Arachni when their ships pulled up to the Crucible, Admiral. Uh, I had to invoke your name more than once before they were let on board. They were following instructions, but my god, do I... I have to tell you how nervous everyone on the project is to see Ragnar strutting down the halls. They almost gave uh, Professor Lau a fit. I'll let you know how our next staff meeting goes. Dr. Locke. An audio log. Uh, Grunt addresses new Aralok co company recruits. Uh, recruit says, still don't understand why they put a tank grown freak in charge of a whole company. Grunt laughs at that and says, I and I don't understand why they gave gave me whining pijacks for soldiers. To which the recruit responds, "I have more years on the battlefield than you've than you have kills." Runt. Grunt then says, "Trying to make, trying to mate with Salarian females doesn't count as fighting." No one to talk to, and then he probably got kicked or headbutted. Someone helping up. We move in an hour. Yeah, running a tight. Uh, I I'm, I don't like all this dialogue. That's very annoying to read. Uh, call from Kaylee Sanders to Jack. Hey Sanders, checking on the kids. Yeah, how are they, Jack? Uh, they'll do good. It's gonna be long. I kind of got crap to do. Uh, I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that bio biotic amp you and the children were testing at Grissom. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Um, okay. And Jack goes, damn, one of those L3 X1s? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed? And then Kaylee says, I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, and hey, thanks. So I guess she's getting more powerful? An email from Kaylee Sanders to David Anderson. David, you won't get this for a while, unless you find an extra connection working on Earth. Uh, I've made it out of... Out of, I've made it out to this weapon we're building. Uh, the device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtaking, complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care, for my sake. All right. At your service. <laughs> that's that's neat, Glyph. Okay, right. Um. I guess I might as well, considering I'm doing this, might as well uh, stop by the other floor. Floors, I suppose, though there isn't really much of an interest at the armory. Um, let's see. Yeah, just both sides. That's it, really. And the engineering guy. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. 
There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. 